Hello home bosses, my name is Nuria Corby from thehomeboss.com. Welcome to my channel, which is all about helping you to create an income online from self-publishing. So time for a new video today and let's dive straight in. I'm really excited about today's topic because we're diving into something that could totally change the game for your self-publishing business. The top five most profitable self-publishing niches you should know about. Whether you're an experienced self-publisher or just getting started, knowing which niches to focus on is a huge advantage. The right niche can help you build a brand, connect with readers and of course increase your sales. So stick with me today because we're going to talk about five niches that are not only popular but are also profitable and perfect for building long-term success. And they're also the five niches that I publish in and that I have created brands around. First up is educational children's books. These books are in high demand, especially now when parents and teachers are constantly looking for engaging ways to educate young readers. The great thing about educational books is that they offer value, whether it's teaching kids the alphabet, numbers or science topics. What makes this niche profitable is that parents are willing to invest in resources that can help their children succeed. Plus, it's a perfect niche for creating a brand. You can easily create a series of educational books and once parents trust your content, they'll keep coming back for more. Let me give you an example. Think about books like my Encyclopedia of Very Important Things or 5,000 Awesome Facts, which not only educate but also entertain. The key here is combining learning with fun. The next niche is one that's close to my heart because I've seen how powerful it can be, and that's puzzle books. These books appeal to a wide audience from kids to seniors, and they're great for creating multiple books under the same brand. What I love about puzzle books is the ability to target specific audiences like kids who want fun learning or seniors who are looking for brain training activities. You can do crosswords, word searches, Sudoku, there are just so many options. And this is also a great niche for building an email list because once someone buys one puzzle book and enjoys it, they're likely to buy more. It's all about creating that repeat customer base. And they're also really great to sell at in-person events. So you can sell them at your local coffee shops, you could sell them at a local school. There are lots of ways that you can sell puzzle books in person and not just online. Moving on to children's picture books. This is such a creative and fulfilling niche and it's one of the most popular genres in self-publishing. Picture books offer an amazing opportunity to tell visual stories while connecting with young readers and their parents. The potential here lies in creating books that resonate emotionally, whether it's teaching life lessons, helping kids with their emotions, or just sharing a fun story. Picture books are also perfect for branding because parents love to buy from authors and illustrators they trust. If you've got artistic talent or a great partnership with an illustrator, this niche is golden. And you could also create them with ready-made images like I show in my children's book course. So if you're thinking of starting with children's books, my course on creating children's books can help you get started. It's all about turning your passion into a brand that readers trust. Personally, I've had great success with children's books and once you get started, you'll see how they can really help you build a long lasting brand on platforms like Amazon KDP, but you can also publish them on IngramSpark or other platforms. The fourth niche is prompted journals. Now I know you've probably seen a lot of these, but they're not going anywhere anytime soon. Prompted journals are fantastic for self-publishers because they cater to people looking for ways to reflect, improve themselves or work through specific life goals, whether it's a gratitude journal, a self-care guide or 
a travel journal. What makes this niche profitable is that it can appeal to multiple audiences, from teens to adults, and there's always room to niche down even further. You can create a journal series focused on mental health, creativity, or productivity. There are just so many possibilities. And this type of product also allows you to engage with your readers by sharing sample prompts on social media, which brings in more engagement. Last but definitely not least, we have planners. From daily planners to financial planners, people love tools that help them stay organized. This niche has so many variations that you can tailor them to fit specific needs, whether it's for entrepreneurs, students or families. The beauty of planners is that they're perfect for creating a yearly series. Think about it. Once someone loves your planner, they'll come back each year to buy the updated version. This creates repeat customers and loyal followers. But you can also make undated planners and that way they're more evergreen. Plus planners are great for social media promotion. You can share layout previews, planning tips and productivity hacks, which help you build an email list or online community. So those are the top five most profitable self-publishing niches. Educational children's books, puzzle books, children's picture books, prompted journals and planners. These niches are perfect for building a brand, promoting on social media and creating a business that lasts. So are these five niches your favorite niches as well? Or do you have a different favorite niche? Or do you think there are other niches that could also be really good for publishing? I'd really love to know your views on that and uh, let me know in the comments. I think I can't pick a favorite. I've done really well with children's picture books, but I've also got some um, prompted journals that are doing really well so it's really hard for me to pick a favorite but what is your favorite let me know in the comments so I hope you enjoyed this video thank you so much for watching and if you've got any questions leave them below in the comments or hop onto my Facebook group the home boss group and leave your comments there I'm really happy to read all of your comments and hopefully we can help each other so thanks again for watching see you next time bye bye